Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at bulbs in circuits and how to relate like the power and the brightness of the bulb to how the circuit is set up, right? So like predicting what the bulb is going to look like based on our power equations. So there's three problems. So here's my first one. I have a household 60 watt light bulb and a 100 watt light bulb and each have a filament with a certain resistance. And I want to know how the resistance of the filaments compare. So to do all of these, I need my power equations, right? So the basic one is power equals current times voltage. But remember, if you take Ohm's law, right, V equals IR, and I substitute that in for different things, I can get two more formulas for power, right? So if I take this, if I substitute IR in for V here, I get I times IR. That gives me I squared R. And then my third equation, if I take I and I rearrange and solve for I, I get V over R. So if I plug V over R times V in, V over R times V gives me V squared over R. So I have three equations now that relate power to voltage and current and resistance. Okay, so this one, I need to think about how the resistance of the filament is going to compare to the power. So I need resistance and power, and then I need to think about what's going to be the same. Okay, so in this problem, if I have bulbs that I'm sticking into sockets, right, so in your household sockets it's 120 volts so if you go stick a 60 watt bulb in and a 100 watt bulb in they're both getting 120 volts so the voltage is staying the same so here's my equation i'm going to use this one because i have voltage staying the same and i can compare power and resistance so see how if i keep voltage the same i can say that power is proportional to one over resistance so if i have a large resistance, I'll have a small power, right? So big resistance will give me small power and small resistance will give me big power. So what that means is my bulb that has the smaller power will have the bigger resistance. My 60 watt bulb has a smaller power. So smaller power gives me bigger resistance. So that means C will be my answer. The resistance of the 60 watt bulb will be greater than the 100 watt bulb and I can show you this. Here's two bulbs and this one right here, the one with tape on it, this is going to be a low power bulb right based on the voltage and the current ratings and this is a high power bulb. So I'm telling you this power bulb is lower than the power of this bulb and we can take a multimeter right and I'm going to measure the resistance. So let's measure the low power bulb first. So the low power bulb the resistance is about 4 ohms. Okay, let's do the high power bulb now. So for the high power bulb, it's about 1 ohm. So again, high power bulb, small resistance. Big power, small resistance. Small power, big resistance. So here's my second problem. I've got two bulbs that are designed for parallel circuits, and I put them in series, right? So these are their ratings in parallel, and I put them in series. So which one glows brighter? So I need something that relates power with resistance because I already know that based on what we said before this one because it has the smaller power is going to have the bigger resistance and this one because it has the bigger power is going to have the smaller resistance right so how can I relate power to resistance well the think of the thing that's going to be the same so in this circuit right a series circuit the current has to be the same everywhere right, because of Kirchhoff's junction rule, right, there's no junction, so the current can't change anywhere, right, conservation of charge. So if I look at this second equation, right, power is I squared R. If I keep this current the same, that tells me that power is proportional to resistance. So if I have big resistance, I'll have big power. If I have small resistance, I'll have small power. So it should be the 60 watt bulb is brighter because it has a bigger resistance, so it'll have bigger power. So let's check that out. Here's a series circuit, right? I'm going to hook this up. Here's my low power bulb, right? So I said that the low power bulb has a big resistance, and because big resistance will give me big power. So this is my low power bulb. So that means when I hook the circuit up, low power, high power, this one should be brighter. Let's test it out. There it is. So you can see that this one lights up and the other one doesn't, okay? And just to show you that this bulb is working, 
I'm gonna disconnect this. Right? See how it's on? So when it's just this bulb, it works. But when I connect them in series, this one has the smaller power rating. So it has the bigger resistance. And because it has the bigger resistance, resistance is proportional to power. And I figured this out because I just used these equations. Okay, so here's my third problem. So I have two circuits. And I want to know which of these circuits is going to emit the most light. Okay, so all four of these bulbs are the same. And they both connected to 12 volt batteries, right? So which one is going to be the brightest? Which one is going to emit the most light? So the way to figure this one out is to look at the voltage on each one, right? So I know that power is V squared over R. So in series, this voltage here, this 12 volts, if you remember the loop rule, right? This equation says 12 volts is going to equal the voltage on bulb 1 plus the voltage on bulb 2. So each of these has to be 6 volts. But over here, if you use the loop rule, each of these is their own individual loop, right? So that means this one is 12 volts and this one is 12 volts. So because they're the same bulb, they all have the same resistance value, right? They're all equal. I'll just call it R. So again, I want to relate voltage to power, right? Because power is going to tell me brightness. So I'm going to use an equation where I can keep something constant. And in this case, I'm going to keep R constant. So each of these bulbs has the same resistance R. So if I go analyze each one individually, I can look at V squared over R. That'll tell me how bright it is. So 6 over R and 6 over R, these two bulbs are only going to be half as bright as these two. Because these two, if you look at this equation, they're getting 12 volts up here. So when I connect in series, it should look half as bright as when I connect them in parallel based on this equation, right? Keeping R constant, V goes up, P goes up. So let's test it out. Here's two bulbs, same bulb, right? I've swapped out my low power bulb for something where they're the same. So same bulb in series, here we go. Those are pretty dim, right? Okay, so let's rearrange this and make it parallel. Now these two bulbs are parallel to each other. Let's clip it together. That's a lot brighter than it was before. So again, these are getting the full 12 volts, right? And since they all have the same resistance, the full 12 volts means you get maximum power. So anytime you're doing something like these problems where you have circuits and you're trying to uh, estimate the power, the easiest thing to do is always figure out what's going to be constant with them and then use one of these three relationships to figure out what's going to change and how that's going to affect either the power or the voltage of the current.